little touch of home right here for veterans receiving care in the Richmond community. Hi everyone, I'm Jonathan McNamara with the American Red Cross and today I'm at McGuire Veterans Hospital and I'm joining members of the hospital community, Red Cross volunteers and volunteers from CarMax who are out here today doing everything they can to enhance what is a very relaxing and beautiful space here at the hospital. An opportunity to talk with a member of the hospital community about why this part of the hospital is so important for the veterans receiving care as well as the members of the CarMax team about why they are so excited to be here joining the Red Cross in this important volunteer effort here in Richmond. Our therapeutic model shows that patients are unique to the veterans that are not only in advanced stages of possibly dementia, but have underlying PTSD, get value from having therapeutic exercises out in the grown uh, outside area. So the gardening, uh, just enjoying a little bit of shade on the day, uh, having a barbecue on the weekend, uh, it just provides uh, an area where they can celebrate get outside and enjoy a little bit of the environment. It would not be possible without the volunteers, and that's why it is so incredibly important to have these wonderful people uh, to come out and give to the veterans and provide the service. Uh, you know, they have uh, provided not only the labor, but also the, all of the wonderful landscaping that you see here was paid for fully by a volunteer effort. And this is something that we may not would have been able to provide on our own devices. So it's incredibly important. And I can speak to that not only as a, a Veterans Affairs employee, but as a veteran. Um, I too am a 26 year veteran of the United States military and hope that one day, should I need this level of care, that I have caring persons like the people from the Red Cross and CarMax that will continue to provide these voluntary services for the veterans. I mean, it's a personal thing because my husband is a veteran. And we have a lot of friends who served. And uh, they've both been in conflict and not. And we've seen people leave war healthy and with injuries. And then, of course, the typical problems that come with aging. So it's really nice to be able to contribute on a grassroots level. Often when you're watching these things being discussed, uh, there's nothing that you can really do about it. You feel like it's out of touch. But this is an easy way for me to contribute to a cause that's close to home.